hey guys, Bruno here. Welcome back to Farming Simulator 2019. Here we are back at our Six Ashes farm. Uh, 7.39 in the morning, day two. Uh, I did have my alarm set for 6 a.m., but due to a very, very late la night last night, I didn't finish uh, plowing a field till after 9 o'clock. I uh, snoozed a fair few times this morning, and yeah, I slept in, got up late. So I've had breakfast. Um, first plan today is head into town. And I think, um, I think we actually need to look at um, spraying our field with some fertilizer. Um, I was going to try and get some lime put on our field, but we don't actually have um, anything, well, enough money to buy a lime spreader or anything. So, yeah, I don't know, don't know what's going to happen with that. Um, hoping that I can actually come through and buy. Um, a sprayer quite cheap but um, I'm not exactly sure on how much it's going to be so I'm going to have to head into the shop have a chat with them and see what we can do see if we can get some old sort of spray that's um, nice and cheap and get some um, bags and stuff I, I'm hoping um, we might even need to throw it down with you know a cedar or something I'm not quite sure what they've got so I'll um, head up to the shop have a bit of a chat, see what we can buy, get them to load it on the truck if we can, and then um, take it back back down home and go from there, I guess. So um, we'll just duck into the shop here and see you guys. We're ready to head back home. Righto, guys, we're just leaving the shop now. So the guys have thrown the stuff on the back of the truck, but our uh, sprayer is barely on there so we need to take it real steady on the way back um, I probably should really bring the tractor up here but I'm hoping um, we have enough room getting through here that we're not going to lose our spray out, looks like it's still on the back there you can still see it in our mirrors on our offside so I'm going to put my hazards on just to make sure in case someone comes up from behind that we can you can see that we're uh, towing something. We're not towing something, but we've got something on the back, which is quite uh, quite dangerous. So, if they threw it on the back, we managed to get a sprayer, um, but unfortunately, we didn't have enough money to purchase some fertilizer. So I had to had to um, yeah, I had to ring mum and um, ask her if I could borrow a little bit of money. And luckily enough, she sent us five thousand dollars. I told her I only needed you know a couple two and a half thousand or something but she said no we'll just send you five and you, know, you pay it back when you can we know that um, you're good for the money so luckily mum's taking care of us I don't know if dad knows yet but mum's organised it all so yeah I'm hoping that um, dad's okay with it but I guess we'll find out right let's pump our speed up a little bit just to 25 and see how we go so we're still got it on the back we've got a tank or a pallet tank on the pallet fertilizer on it so 2200 liters or something I think so we've got plenty of fertilizer on board which should be enough to get our field done maybe we could even look and do it in some um, contract work in the area and see if we can make some money that way because we're, we're going to need to pay mum back obviously she said there's no rush but um, I don't like owing anybody money so the sooner we can get that paid off the better All right, so we'll come up here, we'll turn right and head towards our field. Just going to make sure there's no one coming either way, otherwise we'll probably let them go first. Uh, oop, I think we just lost it. Yep, it just fell off the back. Oh, hopefully it's not damaged. Right, oh, that's probably not a bad thing though. We can go and grab our tractor and pick it up and bring it back. That's a bit of a shame. Just about home and we threw her off the back, so... Bit of a bummer. Now we can actually put our speed up a little bit, I think, because we shouldn't lose our um, fertilizer tank off the back. Well, let's head into where our field is. That's why there's some weeds on there already. Ah, oh, it doesn't take long, does it? it? Doesn't take long for the weeds to arrive. All right. Um, I don't know where I'm going to park this. We might just park it up over here. Should be plenty of room, I think. I'll 
drop down the back. So there we go, yeah. 2,200 litres. Uh, Alright, let's um, jump in our little vent tractor. We'll head around and um, pick up our sprayer first and then we'll come back, but you can see how much fuel I used. We used over a quarter of a tank last night. Quarter of a tank. It's getting our field ploughed in, so that's how much fuel we had to use. Getting all that finished. It took it just took us forever. It was a very, very late one for us. Right, so it should be yeah, it's just up here somewhere. Luckily it looks like no one's run into it yet, so that's a bonus. Might go past it and then um, turn around back onto it. Make sure we're not going to run into anyone. Actually, we should be on this side, shouldn't we? Yeah, I think we should be. Right. Yeah, there's no one around, so we should be okay. It's a pretty quiet area around through here. It's usually only, you know, the farmers that we see through here, so... Every now and then you get the odd, you know, car or something. One of the farmer's wives heading home or something like that, so... Alright, hopefully this will... Fit through here. I don't think... Whoop! I don't think we have the option to... Yeah, we don't have the option to... Uh, I don't think we have the option to fold it. I think it's just... Always the one size. It's only like four metres wide, I think, so it's going to take us forever. Absolutely forever to get this field done. Right, so let's swing in. I'm hoping we can just back up to the side of the truck and get this thing filled up. I'll make sure we don't run into the truck. It's probably another thing we need to try and avoid. Which I can't really see where it is. There you go. Get it all pumping in. So 1,600 litres left, so it's like 600 litres this thing. Alright, so liquid nitrogen um, application rate is auto. You can turn it off. Uh, change application rate. So you put on automatic, which will um, detect the ground and spray to what it needs to spray at. I believe. Ooh. Oh, looks like we're stuck in... We're not, are we? We're stuck... Oh, we're stuck in mud. Oh, well, that's a bit of a bummer. I hope we can get out of here. Ah, uh, let's go. Let's get out of here. So we go. Let's drop the back down, lift it up, see if that helps. Well, we found... Possibly the worst soft spot ever. I hope our whole field's not like this. It hasn't rained or anything yet, so... Might have to, um... We're still sliding down the hill. Might have to give someone at the shop a call, I think. Might be able to come and... Help us out of here. I don't know, we're still... We're stuck. Not in a great spot. Right, yeah, what I'll do is I'll, um, oh, shut ourselves down. I might, um, might give someone a call and get them to see if they can come and help us. Maybe tow us out, even if they can just come over and tow us out with our pickup. But then again, it might get stuck, so, yeah, we might have to get one of the neighbours with the tractor over and give us a bit of a pull. So I'll come back once we're out and, um, on the move. Right, yeah, guys, we're back. So we managed to get, um, pulled out of there which is quite lucky that was quite a really soft bad soft spot over there unfortunately um, but yeah we're still trekking through the mud as you can see there's mud flinging up everywhere but we seem to be getting enough traction now to be able to get through it but yeah I don't know it's just that really weird soft spot down the bottom there so a little bit of an issue just spraying all along the side here, trying to make sure we're getting enough spray onto the ground. So if we bring up our menu, um, it tells you what our current 
nitrogen level is. So we use it quite a bit. 512 litres per hectare. So we use it quite a bit. I don't know um, how much we're actually going to need to get this whole field done. But if we um, turn the sprayer off now and then come back again, it tells us that our target's reached. So that's really, really good. So it does auto-detect it, which is great. It um, allows us to get through and spray, but um, if you look at our outside view, you can see we're still still trekking through the mud like it's still really, really bad. Luckily, um, we've got enough power and just enough traction to keep this keep this thing moving. I'm thinking maybe because we ploughed it last night because it's so cold, it's, um, the field has sort of got really soft and, and wet overnight, I guess. And yeah, she's um, she's quite bad at the moment. But um, what I'll do, guys, is I'll go through and I'll get this all finished up. And um, I'll bring you guys back in probably a few hours. And we're going to have to look at um, at seeding. Seeding the field. Work out what we're going to actually put in. Uh, what's paying really well in the shop. So try and, try and get a big money crop straight away. That way we're not going to struggle for too long hopefully and be able to pay mum back pretty quick as well because we know that um i know she doesn't want her money back urgently but i said i hate i want, I want people money so just want to make sure that take care of that loan to mum as soon as we can especially um especially before dad finds out i know dad won't be too concerned but um yeah i'd rather have him know that or not know that we're struggling so so soon to you know, head to granddad's old farm and take care of it. So I don't want him getting too upset about us struggling so quick. He may end up coming out and wanting to help us, and we definitely don't want that. So, right now, guys, I'll bring you guys back a little bit later on uh, this afternoon. Right here, guys, so we're back. We're on our way back to the shop now, so I did have to actually go back up in our truck and pick up another, another pallet of... Uh, fertilizer liquid fertilizer because we had ran out so I had to get that done it's now what, nearly quarter past two in the afternoon so time is um, is flying by here on the farm we haven't got the field seeded just yet um, I did actually have to contact the guys up at uh, the shop and let them know I needed more fertilizer but I didn't have any more money um, and they asked if I had anything to trade or sell that we aren't using I guess um, and I told them we had an, like, an old corn header that we weren't using at the moment and we probably won't use in the foreseeable future so we've actually um, actually come down and picked it up and they gave us right about $13,000 for it I think so um, yeah we got a bit of money out of that which is good something that you know granddad left behind which has been used for quite some time which um, surprised they gave us that much for it but apparently there's a little bit of a shortage on um corn at the moment and corn headers are certainly valuable so got a good deal with that so I did actually buy from the shop um, last time I was up here this little cedar here so now this thing is looks like a um, like a lime spreader it's actually um, an old cedar so yeah I don't know how she's gonna go but she does everything that we needed to do so from wheat, barley, oats, canola, soybeans, oilseed radish, and also grass. So it's everything we need. Um, I've actually got a few bags of um, seeds in the back of the truck, back down, down near our field. So we'll be able to go down and throw them in, get it loaded up, and start seeding and see how we go. Hopefully we can get it fully seeded by the end of the day. Um, also talking to the guys at the shop, um, when I told him I needed the seeder, he said, have you seeded already or have you just you're fertilizing the field now and I said you know we're I'm just um, just about to finish fertilizing the field but um, we haven't got a seeder yet and then he decided to inform me then that apparently it's better to seed the field before you fertilize with liquid fertilizer that way you're getting the right amount of um, nitrogen and stuff in the ground you're not overdoing it and you're not underdoing it so I'm hoping that when we put our, or plant our oats, throw our seeds out, 
that um, we won't have too much of an issue, but um, I guess we're just going to have to wait and see what happens. Alright, so head back down this way towards where our field is. Our truck's parked around the back near the silo. I think that's where I left it. I put some seed bags in after I went and picked up that other pallet of fertiliser. Alright, so we've got some weeds. We've got a bit we've missed when we ploughed and stuff, but I'm not worried too much. But there's our pallet of fertiliser and our sprayer. You can see the pallet's um, nearly empty as well, so... I was able to just slide it off the back of the truck and drop it on the ground. Hopefully I haven't damaged underneath and it's not going to leak anywhere, but... Seems alright at the moment. Alright, so let's um, bring this guy in. It's at the back of our pickup. Maybe just there somewhere. Jump on out. Uh, we'll have to open our back... And if we can throw our seeds in, one bag at a time, I'm hoping that um, this will be enough. I think I brought 16 bags, though I can't remember exactly how many I got. It might have been 18. Might have been 16. I told them I, needed a bit, I wanted to get about 800 litres worth, which, from what they've told me, um, 400 litres we'll fill it up at least once, so we should be able to fill it up twice. I said I'm hoping that um, it's going to be enough to get the fields done, but brought the old Lizard brand premium seeds. I'm hoping our yield's pretty good with these guys. You don't want to go the, the old dodgy seeds, you want to get the best possible seeds we can, so... Right, there we go, she's full, so what do we got left? Yeah, another Eight, one, two, three, four, five, six, seven, eight. Yep, another eight left. So, hoping that's going to be enough, but uh, just not sure. And I also found a little gate. I forgot about this gate. This gate goes from our our house over there, or Grandpa's old house, which is now ours, over to this little farm shed area over here. So, a little bit of a shortcut. Still need to clear out some of these bushes and stuff, though. To buy that chainsaw that they've got. I did actually have a look at it while I was down there as well and um, looks pretty good. It's old but it should get the job done. And now that our field is dry, it's now 12 degrees so it's certainly dried out the field. It was actually quite wet before so we're not having the issue with mud anymore which is great. Right so let's get seeding. Oh, this thing is crazy fast. So I might have to go back and make sure we don't uh, make any mistakes with that. And I don't mind seeding reasonably quick, but I think 53 kilometers an hour seeding is going to be too quick for us. We're probably going to end up um, missing parts of the field if we do it that quick. Right, how are we going? Yeah, that's pretty good to try and keep it all lined up but as you can see there's still some weeds on the field I need to get our weeder out our weed is sitting over there beside the shed so we can get our weeder out and get that done but this is probably going to take me um, I'd say the rest of the day to get this field done by the looks of how much seeds we're going through at the moment yeah I don't know if we're going to have enough to to complete the field or not you may have to go back and buy some more bags. I don't want to buy like a full pallet because I don't want to have um, excess seeds sitting around for the whole year and potentially having them rot between this year and next year because this is the only field we're going to be able to you know, plant this year until we can get a bit more money in our account and go buy some other fields around here and try and expand the farm a little bit. We'll head all the way up here then we'll turn around and head back down and See how that's looking. This is the longest part of the field as well, so... It's going to be, um... The, the biggest part that takes the most amount of seeds, I guess. Right, so let's pull up here and then we can... Turn around and head back down the other way. But yeah, it looks like it's... Seeds are going in okay. 
it's not going to have too much of an issue with it, I don't think. Uh, with it being our first time seeding with it, I'm hoping that um, it's all going to be okay. But it's going to be, you know, trial and error as always. And here come the crows again, just trying to... As soon as we go, go to seed, they always seem to come around. Try and eat the seed off the top of the ground there. Oh, they're so annoying, aren't they? Well, um, right here, guys. I might um, end end the vlog for today and um, get this stuff done off camera, and I'll bring you guys back tomorrow. And well, maybe tomorrow. I guess there's no point in bringing you guys back tomorrow if there's nothing to be done. So we'll have to wait and see what um, what arises tomorrow. Whether we yeah, do a bit of um, yard work or something along those lines just to tidy up, or we just have a day off, just let, let nature take its course and let things grow. So hopefully you guys enjoyed this one. If you did, as always, smash that like button, leave a comment, and uh, don't forget to subscribe if you haven't already. Everybody, thanks for watching. We'll uh, see you again soon.